Welcome to another episode of Death by Bungie. This episode of Death by Bungie is all about Mossy Oak's biologic Weed Reaper. Okay, that was a bit much. Death by Bungie. I'm sitting on the upper end of what I hope will be a beautiful clover food plot this fall. One of the things you need to do when you frost seed clover in a spot like this, just like anywhere else, got to take care of those weeds and grasses that are trying to compete with the clover and take away the nutrients and take away the sunlight and everything else from the clover so that your clover can prosper, grow really tall, thick and lush and draw the deer in here in the fall. That's what we're looking for with these clover food plots. Now the clover that I broadcast here is coming in nicely. It's nice and thick and I got a nice even distribution of seed it looks like. It's the beginning of June and if you look there's lots of weeds in here, there's lots of grasses. Now those of you who like the Facebook page know that a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago or so, I started to try and control the grasses in here using a product from Bossy Oak Biologic. Weed Reaper is the product. It will attack the grasses, it will not hurt the clover, so it's safe to spray on these clover food plots. Now the name Weed Reaper I think is a little bit of a misnomer. I don't think it's the best name. It does say right on the on the bottle that is for grass control specifically and I want to be clear right up from the front in this review that that is what it works. I sprayed it on all the weeds, all the non-clover plants in this entire food plot as well as the well pad food plot. It protects the clover nicely. I see no damage to any of the clover anywhere but I can tell you that it was effective on grasses and grasses only. It does not control broadleaf weeds which unfortunately are about 80% of the weeds and grasses in this food plot that are competing with my clover. So it doesn't work on those. Now that's fine, it doesn't pretend to be, but the name Weed Reaper almost implied to me when, until I researched it that when I sprayed it on my clover food plots it was going to take care of all the broadleaf plant as well as all of the grass weeds, but it didn't. It just took care of the grasses. For that reason, I think this is very similar to that product Arrest that I used last year to control the grasses. It worked perfectly. Went through and sprayed all the grasses, did two applications on all my food plots, and it worked out nicely. Uh, in fact, you'll remember last year I had some residual rye grass growing in my well pad food plot. That stuff was out of control. It was thick and it took over almost all of the food food plot. It was left over from a previous planting the previous fall. Fortunately, that arrest that I sprayed on it worked great and took care of all of it. All of those grasses died and by the end of last year that food plot was totally under control. It was beautiful thick lush clover and I was fortunate enough to shoot a nice doe there that last year. I'm hoping to repeat that kind of success here in the staging food plot. Now last year I did plant Antler King's No Sweat blend here. I'm sure that there's probably some residual plant that's growing in here somewhere in this little jungle here that is trying to compete with my clover that I frost seeded this year. And if you look though, there's a lot of native weeds and grasses throughout this food plot that need to get taken care of. I have done two applications of Weed Reaper on this food plot. I'll share with you those results now. If you look, it has done a tremendous job on all of the grasses in here. The hay grasses, the field grass that you see, as well as the crab grass that's growing in here. The Weed Reaper seems to have taken taking care of that perfectly. Those two applications, all of those plants are brown, they're all dying. It looks like it worked perfectly on those. It had some effect on plantain. Now there's two types of plantain. There is a, a native plantain here, uh, sort of a broadleaf weed. It did seem to affect that, it did seem to kill some of that. But there's another one called the English plantain. That's that tall, slender, grassy looking thing that end up with those little uh, cattail looking seeds on the top of them. Those it did not control at all, even though that looks more like a grassy plant to me. It did seem to have some effect on mustard. I do have in one of my clover food plots quite a bit of mustard and it did seem to take some effect on the mustard, although it wasn't the most effective means of getting rid of that. I think just simply cutting that before it goes to seed is probably the best way to control that particular weed. Unfortunately, uh, Weed Reaper had no effect on chickweed. Chickweed has got a couple of really nice thick clusters in here, so I'm going to go through today with Slay and try and get rid of that. When I sprayed on some of the wild leeks down there, uh, it did have an effect on those, and on our Facebook page I've been talking about those. I don't want to get rid of those and throughout the entire woods here. In fact, I like having those around. You can eat those, and they're actually a quite tasty little dish in the springtime. But I did want to remove them from the lower end of this food plot, and I sprayed it down there. And it did seem to take care of those nicely. 
Jewel weed. It had no effect on jewel weed whatsoever, and it did not affect ferns in any way. I think both of those are better handled with slay, with a broadleaf killer. I've got something down here that looks like burdocks to me. It had no effect on the burdocks either. Ground ivy and some of the little vegetation like that, those broadleaf vegetation, the ivies that grow in there. I don't think it's poison ivy. I hope it's not. It didn't have any effect on that. So I don't want you to get the impression that this stuff handles all of the weeds that will appear in your clover food plot. It does not. But when it comes to grasses, if that's the problem that you got, it worked every bit as well as a rest. Now this is only part of the big picture with these clover food plots. Really, if I had gone through first and gone through and sprayed Roundup to get rid of these plants right before I frost seeded, maybe that would have worked. But in the spring, Roundup's not going to be effective because it's not warm enough yet. These herbicides really only work on growing plants. And for that reason, you kind of have to spray in the spring when the plants start coming to life. That's a good time to spray them. Ideally, you spray it in the spring before those plants get very tall. If they're tall out of control, you'll want to mow it, give them a week or so to start growing again, and when they start to recover, then you hit them with these herbicides like a Slay Arrest or this Weed Reaper, and it will start to control them a lot better. You need a growing plant. For that reason, when do you spray it? I came in here bright and early one morning, got up at 5 o'clock in the morning, came down here before work, put a coat on all my clover food plots bright and early on a day where I knew that it was going to be nice and sunny. And the reason for that is, is that way throughout the day, the sun was hitting these plants, they were trying to grow, and that means they're gonna soak up those herbicides, the, they were gonna soak up this weed reaper in this particular case, and it would choke them right out and they died. Uh, it was very effective. I actually went through with one application, it worked really good. A week later, I was getting some results, but not as much as I needed, so I went through and hit it again, and it seemed to work really good. The key is to let it sit on there throughout the entire day, let it just sit there and soak in as the sun moves across that food plot, and those grasses will soak this product up, and they will get choked out, and by the end of the day, you'll have your maximum effectiveness from that application. Now, how much do you put on? Actually, this is a 16 ounce bottle. Uh, it takes about one ounce per gallon, is how you wanna mix it. It's a pretty simple application, a pretty simple mixture. The instructions are pretty easy to follow. Uh, one ounce per gallon, so you could do 16 gallons with this. I have a backpack sprayer that I use for this type of application, and then that backpack sprayer, it holds four gallons. So I put in four ounces of this, and this filled the backpack sprayer four times. Actually worked out perfect for me, perfect amount of coverage for all of these different food plots. The key with this stuff is you mix it the same way every time. You don't want to put more than the one ounce per gallon in your mixture. You mix it that way, just spray more of it on if you want a greater application if your weeds are taller. The, the bigger the weeds are, the bigger the grasses are, the more you're going to want to put of this on. Just put it on heavier, spray more of it. I use a backpack sprayer. You could do this on the toe behind, go through and spray it that way, but I don't like to drive over my food plots, my especially my clover food plots, if at all possible. Even walking on clover, especially when it's new clover like this, tends to leave footprints, tends to break the stems off, bend them over, and kill the clover. So I like to spend as little time on it as possible, and I certainly don't want to drive on it if I don't have to. So I do it with the backpack sprayers. Even on a well-pad food plot, it takes me about 20 minutes to walk the whole thing and spray it, not a problem. So what's my version? verdict on this particular product. I think it's a great product. It's every bit as good from what I can see as that arrest that I sprayed last year and did a video on. However, I think in the future I probably won't use this. I'll probably use the slay and the arrest together the way I normally do. You don't mix them together, but I will buy those two products. So the fact that it only controlled the grasses doesn't give me enough reason to really step away from it. Someday we'll have a product, probably, that kills all the weeds and grasses in your clover food plot but doesn't harm the clover. Right now we don't have that. Well, I hope you found this this video informative and helpful. Ask me any questions that you have here or on the Facebook page. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and like the Facebook page as well. And until next time, all hail Bungie!